Welcome to TPM's 3 Minute Thursday. In part 1 of Tricks to Mating, we examined a wide variety of ways to get parts into an assembly and then get them positioned quickly. Part 2 will showcase three of the most powerful everyday mates. Let's take a look. We'll start with my absolute favorite, the Profile Center Mate. This versatile mate allows you to fully position a component with a single mate. It centers two profiles, which can be faces, edges, or sketches. It has additional options to flip and rotate the alignment and add clearance between parts. And for cylindrical components, you can even lock the rotation, which makes this a very complete tool for fully defining position. Here's a few examples of profiles that can be used. Notice that chamfers, fillets, and internal cuts are all just fine. However, when geometry is cut away or added to the perimeter, the profile is no longer valid for this mate type. In those cases, you can either use a combination of other types of mates or you can utilize a sketch that's valid for the profile center mate. Another powerful time saver is the width mate. This mate's also focused on centering components, but it utilizes a set of faces to center in a single direction. Four planar faces are the most common selections, but you can also utilize a cylindrical face or an axis. While this mate's been around for many years, it's recently been enhanced with many new capabilities. Instead of simply centering, we now have the ability to position at a specific location between the references, or even better, use the references to automatically set the limits of travel. This replaces manually calculating limit distance mate values and will automatically update as designs change. Pretty slick. A little more specialized but incredibly useful, our last mate to explore today is the slot mate. Whether you're using a pin, shaft, or bolt, if it goes through a slot shape, this is the mate to use. Just select an axis or a cylindrical face on the component that you want to position and any face of the slot shape on the other. You can even mate two slots together. The slot can be straight or curved, and it can be made any way you like. For example, you can use the whole wizard slot feature. You can use a cut extrude from a sketched slot or simply a combination of sketch entities. They all work the same. There are, however, a few situations to be aware of where the slot geometry isn't valid. Similar to the options shown in the width mate, we can either center the component right in the middle of the slot, position at a precise location, or leave it free to move within the limits of the slot, which are automatically established. I hope you've enjoyed learning a few of the most powerful mates in SolidWorks. I've decided to extend this into a three-part series, so next time we'll learn ways to automate the mating process. Thanks for watching TPM's 3-Minute Thursday.